Working freelance is still, in my opinion, the way of the future. In the upcoming years, I believe everyone will be working as a freelancer in one way or another. In some capacity, I estimate that between 30 and 40 percent of workers are today freelancers. People like single parents who must stay at home with their children, for example, find freelance work far more tempting since it allows them to work remotely and take on assignments on a project-by-project -project basis. We're going to discuss five potential destinations for freelance work in 2024 in today's video. You actually have nothing to lose because using and joining any of these five is free. These are sites that you should absolutely think about looking into for your company this year. Regardless of how long you've been freelancing, how fresh you are to it, or whether you're thinking about it for the first time. Let's get into it. 1. Craigslist. Let's start with none other than Craigslist. To give you an idea, all you have to do is head over to this search box, type in any job you want to get recruited for, and presto, you'll find it. You will see a diverse spectrum of hiring individuals if you navigate up to this page and click on gigs, jobs, or services. Don't forget to adjust your location to ensure you don't miss any potentially accessible ads. Using it is totally free. Not even the creation of an account is required. To apply, simply complete each posting separately. 2. Upwork. This one has been in existence for a while. It's comparable to Fiverr's original model. It is said to be a location where you may locate clients of a better caliber. On Fiverr, however, clients may just auto-book you, which is how I was able to grow my business to well into the six figures because I was getting hired while I slept. You do, however, occasionally have to apply to tasks here. All right. After doing some research, I found several users that had registered on Upwork. As Fiverr does, Upwork also charges for services. 3. Fiverr. Then there was Fiverr. You may schedule meetings. You are able to establish clients. If desired, you can assemble your portfolio of work. You can set up all of these things on your Fiverr page, which is something I suggest doing. You can take different exams and practice different talents. Look for folks who are giving what you wish to give and take notes on how they have organized their gig description. Kindly refrain from replicating it. And after that, design a three-tiered premium pricing system. Typically, you want to provide incentives of some kind and then set up auto-booking so that potential clients may hire you while you're asleep. And that's how you get really wealthy there. 4. LinkedIn. This is where you want to build up your LinkedIn services page. It's really easy. It's only the About Us portion. Location? The price is up to you. It appears that if you want to make sure that people are discovering you on LinkedIn so they can hire you, you can also request feedback from previous clients. This is something you should consider doing when optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Finally, keep yourself busy on LinkedIn. Post an article every week, you know. If necessary, ChatGPT can assist you with it. This is a super easy place to start up a newsletter. 5. Facebook Groups Facebook Groups is the last one, or sixth one. For example, this is a Facebook group. If you haven't already, I strongly advise joining Facebook groups since people do occasionally employ them. It's cost-free. People frequently post and then disappear from Facebook groups, and you may apply for jobs directly there. For example, if you've narrowed down your niche to freelance writing about plants, they advise joining groups about plants. You may often pitch yourself to these individuals, and they may not even be aware that they were considering hiring you in the first place. Basically, while using Facebook, you should pick a niche, join groups, and message individuals directly or publicly. If someone says, hey, please don't DM me, you should certainly respect their right to privacy. Well, that's it for you folks. I'd love to hear about your experiences if you presently freelance on any of these six markets in the comments section below. Please let me know in the comments if there is anyone that I missed but that you think should be covered. I'd be delighted to talk about it in a future video. Just a quick question before we go. When did you start freelancing and what job was it? Please tell us in the comment section below.